Hey everybody, it's Michelle with Comfy Cozy Living. Today is part two of uh, mine and Nancy's Goodwill Bins Thrift Haul. Well, not Nancy's, but we go together. And this is my... So, um, I got this. I think it looks like, um, kind of like bamboo. So, it would be cool for like a, a boho, um you know, setting or like a lift and put it on top of something instead of books or something and then put like your crystals on here um, or, uh, you know, you could put, I think safely, you could put a, some incense on here, put it somewhere that it's setting still, so. Uh, I got these two sets of really cute, <laughs> Uh, post cards that I will use uh, to send to you guys. <laughs> um, I I don't know why I got this. It looks I don't like to get too many paperbacks, but this one looked really interesting. Like if somebody's into um, co uh, comic books. They'd be into this, and it looks pretty old. Uh, well, I know I looked at the age. It's 1967, and it's the Daredevil, the man without fear. So I've never heard of him, so this might be exciting to some comic book people. don't know. Um... <laughs> Nancy handed me this and I was like, ah, what the heck, you know, cause, um, I, you know, it's funny cause they're, um, just, you know, a bunch of comics, but it's Andy Cap and I, I remember Andy Cap. I think it was, he was probably just a little above what my, my intended, uh, maturity was, but I got most of it, you know, at the time, so. Um, I think he was kind of like, some days you like him, some days you didn't, you know? So, <clears throat> um, so I got this for fun. Maybe, um, somebody will like it and maybe it'll be a giveaway. I got four ideals. And there, some of these are really good. This one's Christmas. Didn't I just have this one? I might have just had Christmas one. I'm not sure. I'm not sure. I'll have to, I, I, I write it down, so. And then this one is travel, or no, um, country. Look at that. It's pretty. And of course, it's the same as, you know, most other. This is cool. Con collector's Corner. <laughs> so, um, a lot of little country pictures and, um, you know, poems to go with them. And then, let me see this one. The Liberty Issue. This is the first one I found the other day. Look at that. And even this, too. It's like, whoa. Those are some awesome pictures. Um, and it's it's all very... Um, you know, like... Uh, I don't know. It's all a part of a part of parts of America, and um, <laughs> so um, yeah, there's like higher points, I guess. Here's a thing about Ben Franklin, and I guess people that are making, you know, back then that made like a big difference. 
And then, of course, they talk about the bicentennial. Well, it wasn't the bicentennial until 1976, but, you know. And then the final one I found is Easter. And I know it's a little too late, but, yeah, you know, it'll, there'll be Easter next year, too, so. Um, and, of course, there's just... Uh, spring scenes and flowers, all ladies on bikes, ladies with hats, kids playing, um, a lot of illustrations, like drawings, a couple pictures, flowers, lady tulip. Oh, okay. well, those are cute. Oh, look at these hydrangeas. Oh. I don't care for the blue, the lilies too much. I mean, they're okay, but those hydrangeas, wow. And, um, yeah, so we'll talk about those further when I sell them. And so I didn't get a ton of books. I think that that might be. Probably not totally it, but that might be close. Now, I kind of bought this as like something that you can use for um, junk journaling because it's really it's like a a thing to go with a map of more of Wisconsin, and the map is not in here, but it's all these like like okay, where's um. Nominee Falls. 27S. Well, so you would go to 27 and S on the map, and then you would find it, you know. Um, although, but I just, like I said, I don't have a map. So these are great pages for, I mean, look, there's some cool pictures. And, you know, Holy Hill, I, I, I live kind of close to that, or I did anyway, so... <clears throat> oh, yeah, this book. I didn't really even look at this. I found this in the regular stuff. And I just, I just grabbed it. Because, I mean, it, it looked like right up my alley for books. Entered according to the Act of Congress in the year 1853. Blah, blah, blah. Um, so I don't know. I'm trying to see if there's another date, but I believe that might be the date. Um, and that makes this book, um, almost 200 years old. Uh, 1853? Did I say? In 1853, okay? So, if I'm right. 1953. Okay, so then 1953, 63, 73, 83, 93, 03, 13, and 23. So, it's 171 years old. This book is 171 years old. I mean, that's the oldest book I've ever found. Definitely. And it's got all different kinds of information. It's got it's got math in it. Well, it says <laughs> It's Thompson's Practical Arithmetic, so that makes sense, I guess. If I, if I read from front to back, maybe that would help. So, um, yeah, it's got decimals and compound numbers, and golly, I didn't think this stuff started that far back. Ew. I gotta really look at this because I mean it's it's um 
definitely, uh, it's, it's not, it's, the binding isn't terrible. Just this is a little bit, but it's fine together, but it still is a delicate piece. Um, considering it's supposed age. So I will have to, um, take a closer look at this. And, um, but I think it's at 1853, so. All right. <sighs> now, you guys know I'm not getting a lot of these kits anymore because you guys aren't really buying them. But this is a Bucilla. And actually, oh gosh, this is like a... A mixture of things. Darn it. Well, I think there are still, I believe, some Bucilla kits in here. I think three of them, actually. Um, well, there might all be... No, this one's the... Okay, this one's totally, it looks like it's totally fine. And that's the sleigh, um, sleighs. And then this is um, not fine. <laughs> this might have fallen out because there's some stuff at the bottom there. So it's these bears and the stockings. And then... There's the one with the snowman, and that stuff's all here too, so I, well, I guess, you know what, it might not all be, uh, somebody, I gotta figure out which one this will go to, um, by reading, you know, the, um, well, I think it goes with this one, but I don't know for sure. And also, as long as it has the other pieces, you guys can use your own um, <coughs> embroidery um, thread. Here's another, uh, here's a, like a copy of something that you can do. And then there's like these pages out of uh, some booklets using colors using color and spaces making a tablecloth staining wood furniture doing flowers outside so this little bunch here is hodgepodge of things so I'll um I'll probably have to go through it a little better and um you know to see what's all in there <clears throat> I got this. Uh, it's a large, very lovely, clean, new towel. Hmm? I am. Oh. And um, I'm keeping this. And I'm keeping this. You know, I, I got to see if this comes out. But I'm pretty sure that I have nothing. The thing... Bleh, the thing I like about this pink one is it's larger, you know, it's like, I don't know, when I was a kid, we used small towels to dry off and everything, and I don't know, maybe now it's because of my hair. I don't use two towels, I just use one, but I need a big one just for my hair alone. It's a bath towel. And, um, yeah, it's a bath towel, but, um, you know, sometimes still people use those small towels, but I have the vintage small towel in this color. I'm almost positive. And you guys know I'm going for a vintage bathroom. So, um, anyhow, I got, uh, when I got distracted, or no, whatever, not distracted, but when Andrea, um, was asking me about stuff, and then we got talking about my channel, then, um, Nancy,
she continued to dig. Now, this is dirty, but I'm going to get it washed. I'm going to wash it. Or oxy it, at least. This is... I've never seen one like this. But this is perfect because the kitchen's going to be flower power. So that's... I just love that. I never saw one like this. And then she shows me this. And I got so excited. And I'm like, oh my God, George Berard. And she goes, are you sure? How do you know? And I'm like, well... <laughs> right there <clears throat> I mean I'm familiar enough I would have known it was George Bayard esque but um what I like about it is it's a it's one of those linen you know like uh the lint free kind and not that I would necessarily use it but not that, not that I would necessarily not I don't know what I'm gonna end up with when I land so, it will all depend. I mean, that is so colorful. And honestly, I have other, um, I mean, I do have some George Briard uh, pieces. I think I have some glasses that I kept. I'm not sure. I mean, not. I don't know. Now this, I'm, oh. I'm trying to think of, I should have checked with Nancy before I did this. She, um, I found this and, you know, it would have probably been framed and somebody did a lot of work on this, you guys. Excuse me. And it's not, it's not cruel and it's not like a hook a rug. I don't, I don't know what this exactly would be called. And she said... The word. And I don't know if it was Gregorian. It was not Edwardian. It might have been Gregorian. I can't remember. Anyhow, pretty cool. Um, I think it would be... Um, like... I don't know if you could just hang it. Because now it's like kind of... That... Um, the burlap looks a little wrinkled. I don't know if you could even really frame this as well. You could frame it maybe without glass. And then that way you could make this more taut. You know? Or put it on a... Put it on a... Um, canvas. So, things like that. But, um... I know how much you guys like cruel. So, I thought, oh, this is kind of... It's not cruel, but it's cool. <laughs> now this, ah, uh, you guys, this is canon. Oh man, this is like, I remember all the towels when I was a kid being like canon or that Monticello, Monticello, whatever you want to call it, you know. This is going to one of you because this is not my color scheme at all. But if you have a bathroom that can pull off this as a hand towel, how super cool is that? Or maybe you just want to use it for, um, you know, like summer or just, um, I mean, because I kind of say summer is red, white, and blue because really it, it you got Memorial Day, you got the 4th of July, and you got Labor Day. You kind of... Summer, all, all summer can be red, white, and blue as far as I'm concerned. But I know a lot of people like to decorate as much as they can. So, anyway. I just think this is cool. Great. Like, very vibrant, you know, which I love. Now this, I am going to clean up. <coughs> <coughs> now, I know you guys say, mm, oh, magic eraser. We'll see. I think Goo Gone will help some of this. Just, you know, but I don't like to use a lot of that because it's 
it leaves that greasiness. So um, I'm gonna, and I think Bar Barkeeper's Friend, the spray might might be good. So um, we're gonna see. We'll see. But anyhow, the outside is bad, but the inside, and it's a small one. So it it so it does lock, but now kind of watch this. See when I unlock it, it doesn't like pop out, but it does unlock. So then you can just pull it up and look. It is like a whole new world when you open it. That is beautiful. That's so pretty. And you know sometimes, um. You have different jewelry boxes for different jewelry items. Or, you know, maybe you have a young daughter or granddaughter that would like this. So that would be cool, too. Um, so there you go. Danny's calling me. <laughs> Danny. So here's his, his little drawer. You know, I know, I know we all like our little drawers. And I just pulled it right out of something. So very cute. And then I, this I just took because it fell out of something. And then we were just playing with it literally when we were waiting. And um, so now it's just going to end up going into a bag of bits probably. <coughs> <clears throat> what? It's a ball. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, I think they could tell by looking at it. We were playing. It's a ball. Um, this is a tree topper. And I know a lot of you know that I, cl I collect tree toppers. This just isn't my jam. This color scheme. I mean, it's perfect. If it was silver instead of gold, it would really be perfect for me. I just am not really into gold too much. I have embraced it as far as like bronze and some things into the boho. I have embraced some gold. But this is a, a, a little too much for me. Um, If I didn't sell it, then I would put it in my, my thing. But... um. I, and then, you know, I have the, um, uh, yeah, it's a, it is a good decoration. Yeah. Um, and you know, like what I use is the receipt, uh, holders and also tiny little, um, oil cans. <laughs> you find little things that like have a, a dangerous point. Those are the things that are usually good to hold things like that. And I'm hoping and praying that this year I'll be able to decorate for Christmas and you will see what I'm talking about. I haven't seen my decorations in years, so. <laughs> um, I got this <coughs> and it does work. I don't want to undo, but eh, I will. I was going to go check or check it, but um, Andrea did it for me. <laughs> See, when you get friends now, you get special treatment. <laughs> so usually they have like a little spot where we go and we check our electronics to see if they work. Um, like I wanted, I got, I was going to get a steamer, um, a few weeks ago. It was vintage too, but, um, it didn't, it didn't work. Probably cause I didn't have any water in it. So really that's like, it's a very pretty, can you, yeah, you can see it. Very pretty. And it is um, a little different because this, um, <coughs> it's two-sided, okay? It's pink on one side, green on the other. 
and it has this like, these are, this is hard. This is a very different design than what I've ever seen before. Unfortunately, no box, but this is, I know right up some of your alleys. So you'll see this in July. I definitely, um, and it's got a short cord, which is good because then you just, you know, connect it to the top piece of light or whatever. And you're all good. It's beautiful. Okay. I got this because, okay, so I know a lot of us Americans are uh, kind of obsessed with the Brits, the Brits, the royal, the British royalty, <clears throat> or at least we were until Diana passed. Um, but now it's just there's so much going on in the in the news with um, Princess Kate and uh, with King George the Third. Um. That, I don't know, like, I just kind of thought, oh, this would be kind of, like, he reminds me of one of the, you know, one of their little dudes. At, uh, is it Buckingham Palace or Kensington Palace? No, I think it's Buckingham Palace. I don't know. I've never been to Britain, and I'm not that up on all that. Um, somebody very smartly, or maybe this is how it was, uh taped the, uh, hmm, it's not a sword, some kind of wand of, or something, but anyhow, he's so cute with his hat, uh, and I got this, and I'm sorry to tell you, this is for me. I have never found a good one like this. I've never found the, the pumpkin one that we all are, you know, in search of. I've never found it. And on that one, I don't, I'm not as, you know, because I decorate for fall, but I am not like in love with decorating for Halloween and all that. So I, it's very short lived because I do Christmas like, November 1st. <laughs> and so I was super stoked about this. And especially that those little asterisks, they they kind of look like little snowflakes. So I was uh, I was very excited. Yeah, that's super cool. This I haven't looked at it all yet. I just saw the top and the back. And that's how I made my decision. Now, only one of you bought one of the, the um, lace cards last, last week or the week before, which I was kind of surprised about because those were like uber cool. I mean, those were like a memory that I forgot I even had, you know? So this is, they provide you with that. And that's really all you need because, you know, you got the end of this. You don't need, it's not the kind of thing you need a needle for. Okay, they are all the same. Oh, no, they're not. They're not. They're not. Okay. Oh, they I didn't even... But they are new, and they are separated with a piece of, uh, well, it's like, uh, it's not vellum. It's like um, wrapping, gift wrap, uh, what's that? Tissue, tissue paper. So here's one, and this is like plastic. I mean, I, what could I, what could I describe this as? I'm not sure. Maybe I'll think of something by the time of getting in the sale. Anyhow, these are super cool. I told Nancy that I would maybe do one on a sale or do like a video of me doing one. 
and I would like, I would just sell all of these, but then like sell the one that I did, you know, and then maybe I'd get like a little, a couple bucks extra for that one. So this is the one, I don't know what flowers those are. <coughs> Excuse me, but there, you, there's that one. And oops, yeah, there, there, it's a little thicker. This one. And this one. This one's really pretty. Oh, and I know I got some strawberry lovers out there. Ooh, 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 ooh. I think I found the one I'm going to do. Ah, oh, I love a hydrangea. So maybe I'll do this one. And um, that will be a special, like, sale. But I'll do the others as choice. Because I'm not going to do the whole bunch. I'll just do one of, e one of each. Or each one. <laughs> So those are so cool. And I think you'd be more interested in those even than the ones we had from childhood because, you know, I know a lot of you are into flowers and this would go with like some of your kitchens or um, other areas in your home. Yeah, it says vintage garden jumbo lacing cards. So very cool. You guys know I'm so dry. Okay, I got, I know, actually, I don't know if you guys are even into um, enamel anymore, but these were such good pieces. I mean, they're like, okay, here's first the little, the little white one, and it's, it's good all around. It's got a price tag on it. It's like kind of coming off almost. My my assistant takes care of that part. And also, it's got the hole, so if you could you could hang it on the wall, okay? And you could make mm -hmm, an assemblage inside of this if you wanted to. That's super cute. Or you could use it as a planter. Just drill a couple holes, put it outside on the steps or something. And you could, you don't have to have it in the house. Or if you wanted to, just put something underneath it. This one's a little heavier. It's a little bigger. And it's yellow. And you guys, these are perfect. These have not... Now, so I like the, I mean, that's about the biggest little bit of, you know, that I saw. I like the ones that are all like kind of worn areas. I mean, these are these are like so smooth and like new. It's insane. They're really good. Um, so yeah, again, you can make like a thing in there, or you could drill some holes, or you you know also you you could put um, some rocks underneath there, um, and gives it water space to for the water. And you could do, like, uh, some succulents in here. That would be totally cool. <coughs> Excuse me. Okay. So, I, um, I grabbed these in a hurry. I didn't really look at them. I didn't open them. I thought they were magnets. It turns out these are just, like, stones that somebody made. Like the pug that I started ripping. So I'm going to, I'm not going to put, I could put magnets on, but that might not be what you want to use it for. You might just want to set it down. So I'm not going to put magnets on it. Look at that little kitty. I know somebody's going to love that. And you've got some, some girls from different, uh, times. And you've got, um, I think this one's, I think this one's an angel. I think this one is needing to be censored. I'm not sure if it's a man or a woman. 
<coughs> Excuse me. It's all like the end of my um, bronchitis. I think I showed you that one already. Um, this one is kind of scary and weird. I don't know. I know it's it's like glaring against stuff, so. Yeah. Here's some different ones. <coughs> <clears throat> that was better. These are just from other times, you know, and um, I don't. Yes, they need to be maybe like you know cleaned off a little bit. Oh, ew. I um. This is. Uh, a lamb and I don't know it, um, you know how I'm like with critters and uh, that big one is ew, 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 ew and then this is another one that I have to cover up <laughs> We've got a guest. This is the person that brought uh, that donated all the um, puzzles. Who I told you about? Do we have a baby? Who did the? Who did the? Um, hey Tom. And who did the? Uh, like put all his artwork out on the thing. And then we've got. Disney, I know you Disney people out there like stuff like this, and it still has tags on it. I got this, and then my mom reminded me we don't need these anymore, like the card to carry the cards. My card's shredded anyway. Well, so I'm gonna use this in my. I have a um, and it's not done yet, but I have a uh pandemic um junk journal that I did that I'm it's not done yet then I've got a ton of a ton I mean there's so much of these You know, there's a ton of these. And there is, I mean, there's a lot of them that are just, you know, that go like with the other ones. Like the, there was another one like that, right? Then this. And this one, little one. And then there's, look at this, and I don't know what this goes on. Look at that. And I'm thinking maybe like vanity set, cause it's got this. I mean, look at that. And it's got this. <laughs> and then I'm like, what? Another one. And it's got like ties, okay? And then this and this. Can you even believe? And then I thought there was another one, but there's not. Um, but there's this. I love this one. It's beautiful. Beautiful. And I need to oxy some, uh, oh, oh, I didn't see this one. This is really cool. And then this, this is, this goes on the turlet tank. 
in this one, I think this one, like, I don't know. I'm like thinking like over the back of a chair, you know, like Archie Bunker's chair or something. There's another one. And then this is so gorge. Look how pretty this is. Got a little greenery. And I'm going to continue this later, so it'll be connected. Hey, everybody. I'm back. <laughs> I realized that that was an abrupt ending. And I, I apologize. It's literally like the next day already, next night. This is, uh, this haul has really <laughs> been a haul. So, I'm here to finish. <laughs> this is, I, I thought this was cute because they could be vintage, some of these. I remember, I mean, I didn't really, I don't think I really had barrettes in my hair too much as a kid. Maybe as a teenager, I started wearing, wearing some different kinds, you know? But, um, you know, like, like these purple, the purple flower one, that looks like an older one. But then there's, there's other ones in here. There's like clips that are current ones, you know? But I know that some of you would really like them because look, they're Disney. They're Mickey. And, um, I thought these were adorable and there's, um, probably every day of the week in there. I haven't really checked, but they're different animals and then they're different days. That's super cute. We'll check that, you know, the day of the sale, which will be in a week because today would have been my sale day. It's a glitter that's really oh, oh, my assistant is trying to make signs at me. Then I've got this deck of cards. Now, I kind of feel like a doofus because I'm pretty sure I sold a deck of cards like this before. And they didn't have the box. And so I, I just sold them like, oh, these are cool, you know. And, and they are cool, but... Now I know what they are because they are waterproof, glow in the dark, poker playing cards. And to be honest, I think some of you even said something like there's there. I don't know. This is cool, though, because it actually says Jack on it. Oh, and um. Yeah, they feel different probably because, um, assistant, could you dim the lights, please? Well, we do have one other light on, but maybe it, it'll still just turn them off. Hit the thing and turn it all the way off. Oh, well, it's not going to, it's not, she's going to go do the other one now. So we'll see. We'll see. How they do. Uh, well, I think they are. Maybe they need a. Maybe they need a moment. Because I do see. It should be in the light first. Oh, it should be the light first. Well, anyhow, turn that back on. It doesn't matter. <coughs> <coughs> I'm not going to do it now because it's not going to, if it's going to take forever. So you guys will just trust me. They maybe work and they maybe don't. <laughs> Either way, they're kind of cool to be like this, you know, kind of on these clear cards. It's different, you know. So anyhow, um, yeah, these. I'll count them out, too, before the sale. This bag. 
let me tell you about this bag. I wasn't, I'm, I'm really not looking at a lot of bags and purses lately because you're not buying them. <laughs> but <coughs> I have a tendency to buy certain ones still because, I don't know, I think you guys still like them. And um, when this came out, it was on the top. And so I could see it really well. And as I like got a look at it until you could shop, I was like, well, it looks pretty clean. It looks pretty clean. Then when I got closer and I saw it's, it's Mickey, it's a Disney bag. It's got Disney, like little um, Disney emblems on the zipper here. And then there's a big old opening here. And then there's two openings down here. Great for... They need a little greased up or something. But they work. It would also help if they had stuff in them and, or this was like being held properly. I did it so many times to make sure. There. And then, what? It's brand new. Yeah. And it's brand new. I mean, look at the bottom. You got the feet. Then, the, I mean, it's... Now, not only do you have the little luggage tag, which is totally cute, by the way. This feels good. Um, this, it, it's like that nylon or whatever. Um, and But these parts feel really nice and supple. I'm sure they're not real leather, because why would they? But this is just little pieces, but it, it does feel really good. And then you got this, like, canvas or whatever it is. And then you got the handles. And again, another little z zipper, Disney um, Mickey zipper. And it is huge. And it's Disney store. And I saw Disney somewhere else too. Yeah, here. Disney. Disney store. And then there's another zipper here. And when you have this, when you have this zipped up, and maybe you just want to carry it like this. You could, you have the um, option to undo this. Um, as well as, you know, this one, of course. And um, they do um, adjust. So you can do it so that you can throw this as a crossbody for when you're like running through the airport or whatever. Um, or you can just have it long or you can have it in the, just not use it and just, you know, if, if holding it is right for you, whatever. But this is such a good looking bag and the design is not like specific to anything. It's just a cool design. You kind of, oh wait, <laughs> you kind of see what you want to see. But then all of a sudden I'm like, wait a minute, there's a bunch of little Disney, little Mickey heads. <laughs> Right there. So, um, anyhow, yeah, you might find it's like, where's Waldo? Where's Mickey? <laughs> anyhow, I thought this was super cute. And I, I can imagine that some of you aren't right now just thinking, I have to have that. <laughs> I like it. My sister likes it. Okay, we got some books now. And I feel like, did I have this before or did I just look at it before? I don't know. But you guys know how I'm getting about these pop-up books? Like, I love to be able to bring them to you.
I think there was only one little part that I needed to adjust. Oh wait, what's that? What, what part, what does that change? Oh, oh, all the candy on there, see it? In the dreams. But there was, I think, one thing that I have to fix, and it's, um, it might be, maybe I just have to, like, reattach some things, and, oh, look, at watch this, uh oh, oh, no, that's one of the things I have to fix, I guess, because it's kind of torn there. Shoot. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to do some, you know, tune-ups on that book. <coughs> then I got, uh, this one is the New Illustrated Encyclopedia of Gardening. W-A-T through Z-Y-G. I didn't really see that at first. Yeah, that book was a Hallmark book. Yeah, that Christmas one. So I didn't really notice that this was like only like a partial, like W-A-T through whatever. But um, but it's super cool. Look at this. Just for a tabletop book, you know, coffee table book. But it does have like, it has color pictures, it has black and white pictures, and it has tons of information. And... Um, maybe you're collecting these from, um, well, let me tell ya, from, oh man, it's in Roman numerals, mm, 1964, I'm thinking this is. MCMLXIV. I think that's 1964. So, um, now I'll know because I didn't notice the, you know, like, WAT. For some of you that don't know, an encyclopedia is like a set of books that we used to have instead of the internet. And that's how we did our um, book reports. You just couldn't copy from it, you know, because that would be um, plagiarism. And um, so, yeah, we actually had to look at books. We had to look through all these sets of books, all these, and then we had to like put them in the bibli, and not the bibliography. What was that called? The like a footnote or whatever. I don't remember. So anyhow, I thought that was a cool book. Um, Nancy found me another book, and this one is, like, it's big. This one's, like, double the size of the normal one. So, um, yeah, I can't wait to, set, to see what all I, ones I have, to, to, to tell you the truth. I, this, I was, I was on the fence about getting this book. And let me tell you why. Because... The same reason that I have not been getting a lot of the, um, like, um, you know, quilting and knitting and crocheting, because I'm really not sure if you guys are interested in all that anymore. And this is super cute. It's Christmas. You know, it's di di um, directed toward Christmas. And it is from uh, 1981. And it literally has a table of contents of Jane's, Jane's Calico Christmas Ornaments. And I think it's, I mean, I think it's really neat because, you know, this, this could be like the epitome of some people's, you know, childhood Christmases. I, I was a little older then. I was already a teenager, I think. Yeah, I was a teenager. So, you know, some of this stuff didn't, at the at that point in time, really matter so much to me. I know. And 
I got this, I think. Um, yeah, this is another um, coffee table book. I mean, it's just awesome. I couldn't help myself. It's just, it's so cool. I mean, look, you know, it's all that mandala stuff and everything that, you know, is up my alley. So, just cool to look at. Now, I know I said I've, I'm done with coffee or with um, cookbooks, but that was just like a loose statement. That wasn't like a solid statement. And when I found this one, I was like, this is a different one. Betty Crocker's Dinner in a Dish. And it's in a, a copper dish with like a little cerno thing underneath it. And, um, and then it was so funny because I was like, oh, it's signed. And I'm like, well, that's a J, not a B. And I mean, I don't know how old or I don't know when Betty, it, I, I don't, is Betty Crocker even a real person? I, I don't, I don't even know to tell you the truth. But it says Merry Christmas, G June or Jim or something, seven nineteen seventy six, and then it's signed Julia Pitou or something like that. But I because I was like, there's no way that like Julia Child would be signing a Betty Crocker book, and I don't know. I went through this whole thing, you know. But um, this like this is another one that is great with the with the um, pictures. And the colors, I mean, they have, they are consistent with these, with these, um, Betty Crocker cookbooks and stuff with the awesome illustrations and images. So, yeah. Minute Saver Goulash. Um, yeah, whatever. Anyway. Oh, here, Mom. Caraway dumpling. <laughs> My mom does not like caraway <laughs> at all. So anyhow, this is super cute. Cool. Whatever. Um, I, look, they had <coughs> an entire set of Little House on the Prairie books in a box. And I gasped. I did. And then I pulled one out and I was like, oh, it wasn't the one that I, the ones that I read. It was a different set. And I was like, I don't know. And it, it even said something about different stories and different, I don't know. It, it just didn't look, it didn't give me the feels at all at that moment. But then I found this book and I was like, oh, maybe this goes with that. And I started looking at it and I'm like, oh no, it doesn't. This, and they're doing a, like a, um, a reunion now or something. This is... Little House on the Prairie from A to Z. And if I can possibly, okay, here. It's just from 2005. I don't care. And the reason is because I want to read this book. I'll sell it after I'm done with it, but I was a Little House on the Prairie fan. And so they, they're, they got the, they got it all. I mean, I remember when she went blind. I remember when Half Pint turned 16. I just, I, I just know. Yes. Little Nellie, Nellie, um, oh, what was her freaking name? Olson. No, Nellie Olson. Anyhow, lots of these, uh, these, these pictures are just great. And, um, and it, it tells you, like, when this person came on, see, it's not like a story of 
of the, um, it's not the story of Little House on the Prairie. It's, it's just this book and it's about, it's A to Z, like, like W, Walnut Grove, you know, um, T, townspeople, the Lord is my shepherd, um, different things like that, S, sleepy eye, oh, Nellie got it, Nellie, oh yeah, that was when she had a little wedding, and, um, stuff like that, it, and it looks really interesting to me, and it was kind of like, you know, um, just one of those things that kind of, uh, pulled at my heartstrings, and, um, so, yeah, I had to, I had to get it. And, um, oh, yeah, like it says, like, I think it's going to, like, even show, like, different um, stars who were in it, you know, in the past. I'm not sure exactly, but right here it does say um, Ray Bulger from, that was the, the Scarecrow from Wizard of Oz. And then it, here it says, um... Sean Penn, he was a Wal Walnut Grove schoolboy in the Tink the voice of Tinker Jones, season one. And he, but it was uncredited. He didn't, which means he wasn't in the credits, you know? Like, can you imagine? And they give you the information so you can find it. You could, I'm sure it's on YouTube, you know, everything is. So anyhow, I don't know. I just thought, oh, I'm going to I want to get that. Oh, look. My grandma loved him. I mean, loved him. And then that whole like highway to heaven thing. And then when she died, when he died, oh, she was beside herself. Okay, this is shirt. I I really don't look at clothes. But sometimes you're coming around a corner or you're sitting in there waiting in line or something, whatever. So I saw this and I checked the size and it's a J. Crew and I think my son will like it. So, and it is a man's shirt because I couldn't remember about buttoning, you know? And then, um,. Nancy did it, and she's like, no, that's a man's button. And I still don't, I don't wear a lot of button shirts, I guess. So anyhow, I gotta get this washed before Sunday. <laughs> I like it a lot, and I think he will. I I wish he would wear that shirt that I, that other shirt I gave him. It'd be a very Easter shirt. But, you know, boys might not exactly think like that. Um, okay, now this is crazy, but... And also crazy that I even bought it because I still might have the other one. I don't know. I still have this. I think I might still have this other one just like this. I'm not sure. You know I love this bag. It's a uh, um, sack roots. And it, it gives me the denim vibes. But it's very clean. And it's... Just like all the other sack roots bags, it's got the zipper, it's got the little um, spots to put your things, and and it also is adjustable in the way you can put it um, on your body. Okay, and this is nice and thin. No, not gonna kill you, but I just ah. Uh, I just love that. And I don't know if I sold mine or if I still have it. I don't know. This, you guys, let me tell you how cool this is. Felted, and some of you know this because I think I've sold like three felted things. This is crazy. Because look at this, the, the thing. This is huge. Do you see this? Is huge. That's what hit the table. That's what you heard. And that's 
So that's what that's what is the thing to keep it closed. So you open it with like that, and there you go. And then you close it just by flipping that. And there's another little pocket over here. How cute is that? This is such a nice purse. And these felted purses, they're, they are not, they are not cheap. Because look, this, this is not easy to do. How cool is this? It's cute. It's gonna, what I'm going to tell you. I need to actually take a picture of this one. And maybe have it be my tag. I actually did buy some purses to this week, though. So, I haven't gotten a boho purse in a while. But Well, I mean, the sacraments are boho, really. But this one is, I first of all, this is so cool. It's like a belt. I'm just going to put it around my neck for now. Just so I can show you the purse. It is... Kind of like a, well, it kind of looks like a fanny pack, but it has a little, little, um, magnetic, you know, and it is, um, look at the bottom gusset, I think. And how, so that's how wide it will go and how much stuff you can put in there. So that's, a. I don't know what it. Uh, I'm trying to see if it tells me. Oh, the maker is it's the it's Primark. I don't know what that is, but anyhow, I just thought it's a cool one, and it's time to load up on some um, boho things. <clears throat> Speaking of boho, what color do you think this is? It's natural. Um, this one is, this is vintage, okay? Now, watch what I'm about to do, okay? Here's the zipper. It's different, right? I'm gonna have to take a picture of this. This is just so different. I um I mean obviously it's gotta be some kind of clutch because of the dis this decoration. Um if it was for men they would not go to the extreme of having this cool red, you know, thing through it, and they would not have uh, a brown one also, they would not pay attention to that detail. But how cool is it that this opens like this? You can, I mean, I don't know who would put something up top. You would probably, you would put your stuff down on the bottom part and then you would zip it. You could probably put some flat papers up there and then you would have it and this side would puff out a little more because it would be full. And then there you go. Very cool clutch. This is just, this is just like very playful and cute. Um, I think it really spans almost every season. The only thing about it that maybe, I would say maybe it's not very wintery because of the small handle but how cute is this it's by bag it's bags by monica made in madison wisconsin and i thought you know what monica needs some credit let's get some let me let's get some the word out right isn't that cute and i love that and these, just the dots, polka dots are cute. So, cute style, um, cute size, uh, and, and navy goes with everything. So, there you go. 
this is a Vera Bradley. Now, I know that there are some of you that don't care about a Vera Bradley. And I know that some of you, like Angie, are looking for different ones. And this is a different style and a different size. As a matter of fact, I was like not sure at first. There's a, just a tiny little like scratch, but it's not off. Do you see right there? It's not off. It's just so, I don't know. But um, this is just, the colors are really good. That blue and that, that like uh, melon or coral or whatever. And so you got um, I know you've got a, a, yeah, here it is on this side. You got the things for your cards on this side. And on this side, I don't think you have anything but the tag. This is Vera Bradley. So, um, this, and for some people, this might be, this might be a great bag to, um, carry inside a bigger bag because this maybe you just want to run in a store and out or run in wherever you're going having lunch with the girls or whatever but you got your bag your purse and you know leave that in the car right so you can just have your phone and you know the essentials in here so so i thought let me just i'll pick it up i'll give it a shot and I don't know. I real I really like this one. Um, Nancy, I like. I was. <coughs> I think Nancy. Did I find it and show Nancy, or and ask her, or, and and then I don't know. I don't remember now, but I think this is homemade, and I I really gro have grown to love it. Um. And it doesn't, yeah, it doesn't have any tags at the, like, at the back of it is this. And the strap and the front is partially that. And then it has, like, this, like, it's almost like, um, carpet, not carpet. Well, yeah. Upholstery, that's what I want to say. And, um, and it has the little opening. And then it closes. So when we were in the store, I put it on and I was like, you know, because I'm funny about my cross bodies. And I'm like, is this all right? I'm like, Nancy, is this too high up? Because usually, you know, I get them and they're like, you know, right here or here. And I don't like that. And this one you can't, you know, you cannot adjust. And so she said, no, this one, this one, she said, it looks fine. So I was like, oh, let me see. I'm going to walk around with it on for a while. And it was very comfortable. So <clears throat> we'll see. Because it is a really cool bag. So we'll see what I decide because I'm trying to carry less and less. But this bag itself, oh, no, no, is, is not very much. You know, it's light. Here's another lovely bag. Not as lovely as the beaded, but also quite lovely. And um, the, is it Petty Point? It goes all around, all the way around. And uh, front and back, back and front. And then it opens and it's got a little um, a little pocket and then it's so soft. It's got like a cushy in there, a cushionness. And then, um, you've got the, the little, you know, so you can, you know, but this be hanging or you maybe hold it there like that. I don't know. Which I actually know that a lot of you are just going to hang it in your house on a wall and be pretty about it. So, I don't blame you. Okay. 
So I have another, I have other stuff, but now it's time to show, uh, it's kind of the unveiling of the, the, maybe you should shut your eyes for a minute, mom. So I can try to get this maneuvered properly because it will take a minute. You guys, let me just tell you, Nancy was like, oh my God, you have to have, you know, like I can, she's like, I can just see, you know, like what you would do and all the things. And... How come I can't? I can't get that to, to, um, I need to get it to go down there. There we go. And then, um, so then, um, and that done, there's, unfortunately, only one of these. Um, so... Yeah, we, it was a whole process. We had people looking and <laughs> it's a whole thing. But, um, but, uh, she's going to be, a part of the family now. Okay, mom. But we're gonna call her Lefty because she doesn't have a right hand. So she could be wearing like she could wear this shirt that I got for Jack. She could be um, you know, even though she's got a bosom. You know, of course we're gonna have to get this out somehow set. I mean, I got it for like three bucks, so they didn't pay me. I didn't do it by the pound and stuff, so whatever it was, I don't know. And I might have to figure something out for the bottom because there's like a, a little like, you know, this part that would have went into the next part of the mannequin or, but then again, Maybe I'll find the rest of the mannequin next week. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, I'm not doing this right now. <laughs> but there it is, folks. I know a lot of you are going to love this. I'll have a shirt and I can put like a necklace and all these things. So, yes. She'll be a lovely addition. Addition to Comfy Cozy's family, right? Unfortunately, we're going to have to keep her dressed because her boobs are probably bigger than some of yours. <laughs> it's disappointing because it wasn't as good as you hoped, eh? See, it was too long, too long of a wait. My assistant is not like laughing or mortified, so. Kind of mortified. <laughs> anyway. Yeah, a few more things that I got at a pop in, when I popped in to uh, Goodwill some point in time. I don't remember when. This is for me though. Beautiful flowers. It's got a little rip, but that's okay. Uh, some thank you cards. And some more thank you cards. And a hanging planter for a small plant and it's lined super cute 
these that are going to be so cool for assemblages because they will go like this. Or whatever. I mean, they do go like that too, you know. But they could go like that and and then give you height or whatever and then have dimension here. So I got six of them. Well, there were six of them, so I got six of them. I got this for, um, I love this. It's, I think this is, um, brass. So I, I was like, oh, that would be very cool to hang a piece of something of interest on. So a little different, something a little different. And then I got two more bunt pans. And these are actually the same, but just that one's copper. And, and I thought that was kind of funny and cute. <laughs> it's, oh, they say how many cups they hold each. This one holds three and a half cups. <laughs> Interesting. And that little, that one, oh, I don't know about the silver one or aluminum one, whatever you want to call that. But the gold or the copper one does have a little thing so you could actually just hang it with all your other copper if you have that sort of thing going on. Yeah, I know. But we decorate with things. <laughs> then... You guys, I swear, it just doesn't make any sense. This has all the vibes of a Jim Shore, right? But there's no marking at all. And I don't know if somebody took something off of here. I'm going to have to look stuff up. Either way, it's cute. But really, the way they did this and the, and I, I just, I don't know. So, we'll see. I'm going to do some research. And we'll see if I made a good, a good decision or a bad decision. <laughs> oh... Anyhow, it's been a long day, you guys. Really long day. You get up to 11 o'clock. <laughs> the assistant's getting fired. <laughs> you're on, uh, you're on, um, what's that called? You're on notice. <laughs> Something like that. <laughs> I want you in my office at 3 o'clock tomorrow. <laughs> that's what they call it on um, Friday. It's, that's the day that uh, it's fire, fire day. At certain, it would be um, instead of 5.30, it would be fire 30 or something like that. I forgot how it goes exactly. But there's places where that's like a thing. Or like on TV, you know, they would say that. So... Anyhow, that's it, you guys. Finally, I know that's, well, 45 minutes almost. So, um, yeah, let's, uh, uh, I guess we could name her. Um, Tallulah. Lefty isn't great, and I know she's headless, but um, we'll, we'll figure something out, okay? And, um, yeah. I hope that you, well, th this isn't just 45 minutes because I'm adi adding it to the other part. So it's going to be a long one too. Anyway, that's all I've got for you. And I, um, I will be back, back in the saddle next week. And I hope to see you all there. I am toying with the idea 
And actually, I'm not really just toying with it. I'm pretty sure I'm leaning hard into it of having a full-on clearance sale. Like of anything I've ever had in a sale before. Um, and then there will be maybe some things that are of a um, more higher value. Um, that I would maybe have in a sale on Thursday. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that, but, um, I am almost certainly, uh, going to do this because I have a lot of stuff and it's taking up space. I'm going to get kicked out of Danny's house pretty soon. So, um, that's it. That's it. And I hope that um, you guys show up Thursday or Tuesday night, Wednesday night. Oh my gosh. You know what? Just hit the bell. <laughs> so you know when I go live or whenever I put out a video. Um, and also uh, just pay attention. Um, but I'm pretty sure it's going to be Wednesday night. And it might be like early start and I apologize right now to Cindy because I might have to overlap but um so it doesn't go into like midnight you know um and then uh Thursday I uh, will be doing something because I know I'll, I'll maybe we'll have like a remainder or a little overcap recap whatever but I am gonna try to have like a blowout so yeah call your friends Tell your neighbors all that jazz. Anyway, I am uh, going to go watch some TV and chill out for a while. All right? Bye!